Faith is a spiritual force unique to the human creature. Studies prove that what the human creature consistently thinks about with a strong burning desire tends to manifest. Faith could be defined as belief in God for something not yet in existence in the physical universe. If we ever hope to possess the blessings of God or answers to our prayers, we must first realize that God will construct it out of the substance of the universe so we can experience it. Prayer and faith are the only two spiritual forces God has given to man to give him the ability to tap into the spiritual realm. If we need something from heaven to manifest in this physical realm, only faith and prayer can accomplish it. Second, words of faith have to be spoken out loud to release the information necessary to make the quantum bits of matter function. Thinking about something is not enough. Words have to be involved for something to manifest. There is a difference between speaking empty words and speaking words that are filled with faith. If we want to speak words of faith, our words have to have spiritual energy in them. Jesus said in John 6:63, 6, And the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. During his earthly ministry, Jesus exercised incredible faith. And because of his union with the Father and his anointing of the Spirit, his spoken words contained an abundance of spirit life. There was spiritual energy in the sound of his words, and this sound communicated information to the matrix. It is easy to see that sound carries energy and information. This is why we have to speak words of faith out loud if we want to affect the quantum realm. There is no power in the name it, claim it formula. Just because you say something out loud does not mean it will come to pass. Even speaking God's word out loud with no faith has limited power. Faith has to be mixed with our words because faith is the spiritual energy that works at the quantum level to bring into manifestation that which we believe. So, let's talk about it. The only way to get faith energy into our words is to meditate God's written word while spending considerable amounts of time alone fellowshipping with God. Faith can only come from confidence in God. And confidence in God to move on your behalf will increase as you spend more time alone with Him in prayer. You can't trick yourself into believing and just go around confessing Bible verses. Something has to ignite the faith in your spirit, and that something is the Holy Spirit. The fuel the Holy Spirit needs to ignite our faith is the Word of God. God's Word is filled with His faith. Something must happen at the quantum level of reality when we meditate God's Word out loud. The spiritual life of God's Word is transferred from the written page to our human spirit by meditating on it. When we meditate, we think out loud about something God said in His Word. We turn it over and over in our minds. We chew on the Word like a cow chewing cud. As the Scripture rolls around in our mind, we should speak out loud the truths we are learning. In a way, this is programming our minds and spirits with the Word of God. And since the Word is right information, that information can interact with the quantum universe to bring things into manifestation. How do we get our faith to grow? The, dis the disciples inquired the same thing in Luke 17.5 when they asked Jesus to increase their faith. The answer is, spend time alone with God. Meditate the Word of God. Fill your heart and mind to overflowing with the supernatural power of the Word of God. One of the best ministries I have found that believes and teaches what I just said is Lamplight Ministries based out of Dunedin, Florida. There's a very godly couple, Jack and Judy Hartman, that uh, lead that ministry, and they write books, and they make scripture cards, and they make all kinds of materials that can really help you meditate and build up your faith in the The only power we have as humans to create matter 
is faith. Through the power of concentration and imagination, the human creature can actually cause that which he meditates upon to manifest in the physical realm. The writer of Hebrews stated, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Our faith can actually form the substance of what we believe God for, string by string, quark by quark, and atom by atom. Our faith can move the hand of God to download a program into the matrix that tells the universe what to make. As stated above, Jesus today might have told us that if we had faith the size of a quark, or an electron, or any elementary particle, we could have what we believe. If you can create by faith just an atom's worth of what you need from God, Jesus told us we could have it. Our every need is contained in the glory field that forms the substance of our reality. God created this universe to respond to our beliefs as quantum physicists are increasingly becoming aware. Whether we believe God for a new job, a new car, a new child, healing in the body, or anything else we can imagine. All of these things have to be constructed from the substance of the universe. Our imagination is the factory that forms this substance. And our faith is what moves the hand of God to make it happen.